Hello football fans and welcome back to Footy Today where we bring you the latest and greatest news in the world of football. Before we begin, can you please hit the like and subscribe buttons as it does really help us out a lot. Now, let's get started with today's football news. Enzo Maresca is to be the new head coach of Chelsea according to Fabrizio Romano who stated that both Chelsea and Leicester have reached an agreement for the Italian to join the Blues. Interestingly, Maresca will sign a five-year contract with Chelsea with an option to extend for an additional year. Chelsea will also have to pay Leicester a compensation fee of £8 million for Maresca's transfer. So for those who don't know, who is Enzo Maresca and what is his style of football? Well, in the 2022-23 season, Maresca was an assistant to Pep Guardiola at Manchester City and then became head coach of Leicester with whom he won the championship. Maresca also has experience working with Parma. Maresca's strong connection to Pep Guardiola's football philosophy significantly influences their approach. At Leicester, he has introduced a playing style that is very similar to Manchester City. The similarities between Guardiola and Maresca are noticeable. For example, Leicester brought in an effective use of inverted fullbacks under the Italian this season. Maresca has an obsession with ball possession, playing quality football and wanting his team to dominate the game. Being only 44 years old, he is seen as being a new and upcoming young manager which is why Chelsea have chosen to go with him. Now, sticking with Chelsea, we're going to move on to our next story. Since Todd Bowley's consortium took over in 2022, Chelsea has spent over £1 billion on transfers, potentially breaching profit and sustainability rules for the upcoming season. Reports indicate that Chelsea plan to sell four players to manage their finances due to FFP concerns. To avoid this, Chelsea may sell some valuable players. England international Conor Gallagher is rumoured to be among those who might leave. Gallagher, who was important under Pochettino, captained the team for much of the 2023-24 season. However, with Pochettino gone and Gallagher's contract expiring in 2025, his departure seems likely. Football Insider reports that Conor Gallagher, Trevor Chalabar, Ian Martson and Amanda Broha are up for sale. Pochettino valued Gallagher and Chalabar, but with his exit and Chelsea's financial issues, they are now open to offers. Martson and Broha were at loan at Dortmund and Fulham and are also available, with Broha attracting interest despite a tough spell at Craven Cottage. In terms of new signings, The Sun reports that Chelsea is planning a surprise £20 million bid for Burnley goalkeeper James Trafford, seeing him as a potential long-term number one. Newcastle is also interested, but Chelsea is favoured to secure the deal with Burnley ready to sell for a profit. And lastly, on lighter news, Cristiano Ronaldo is still breaking records. He added two more records to his impressive collection as Al Nassar finished second in the Saudi Pro League despite all his efforts. The 39-year-old scored twice in Al Nassar's 4-2 win over El Etihad, bringing his season total to 35 goals. Ronaldo's efforts also means he becomes the first ever player to finish as top scorer in four different leagues. Ronaldo won the Golden Boot in Manchester United's 2007-2008 Champions League winning campaign, matching Alan Shearer's 38-game record by scoring 31 times. Ronaldo was top scorer in La Liga on three occasions in his nine-year stint at Real Madrid. And then he scored 29 goals in 33 outings for Juventus. I think it's fair to say that he is one of the greatest the game has ever seen. So what are your thoughts on this? Have Chelsea made the right decision by signing Maresca and will he be a success in the Premier League? Are they making a mistake by putting Gallagher, Chalba, Martson and Broha on the transfer list? And what about Ronaldo, still tearing it up at the age of 39? Drop your comments below and we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.